And Television Dude here, and I have a couple packages in the mail. Only one of them is gaming related. Really, you got a real package and a silly package. Let's open the silly package first. Well, if I could cut in a straight line, it'd be nice. Ooh, George Foreman Grill, the champ. <laughs> well, actually, this is not the champ one. This is just the extra large one. <clears throat> Take a look at this beast. Mine died. <clears throat> I can't live without it. I can't live without it, and it just died. Even though technically mine was not a George Foreman brand grill, it was just a uh, Hamb Hamilton Beach grill, but it was pretty old. And pretty much the same thing. I think this one might be bigger than the one I had. I probably didn't really need bigger. I just wanted something... Uh, I didn't want anything smaller than what I had. Man, I cook everything on these things. From uh, uh, Lately I've been cooking a lot of uh, chicken and fish. the tray. You don't need the tray. Blue styrofoam blocks. I want to see how big this monster is. Let's pull it out this way, I guess. Yeah, that's bigger than mine, I could say. Let's get this bag off. Don't want to... It's the grill suffocating. Get it out of there so it can breathe. Poor George. Yeah, I decided to get the regular kind. The kind that, that does not have the removable plates. I, I've heard people argue back and forth over which is better. Some people like the removable plates because they're easier to wash. But then other people said they're a piece of junk, the removable plates ones. And that the old style is better. So, uh, that's kind of weird how, it, how that just flims like that. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it is. But cool. As long as it works. As long as it works. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Those are ha uh, grilled ham and cheese sandwiches for me. Haven't had one of those in a while. Now I've got a craving for them. Thanks a lot. Now, actually, I did not know this item here, which you can read in the description. The title, I mean, the title of the video. Does George smell funny over there, cat? This cat is smelling George. He's leaving. I don't think he likes it when there's a bunch of ruckus. And now he can't get out because of the boxes I just threw over there are blocking his way. I wonder if he'll find a way through. Or if he'll give up. Well, he's digging. He's digging. I better just help him out. And there he goes running. <coughs> Cats are weird. He does not like disruption too much. He likes it when I'm doing a video, but when there's too much going on, he's like, that's just time to get out of here. Yeah, I didn't know how big this, uh, this system would be. I didn't know it would, uh, I thought it'd need a, a longer size box. Not, not so much the, the height of it, but I thought it might be a little bit longer. I didn't know how long the system actually was. Really, it actually fit in this box pretty tightly, so. Now, ah! I won this in a really good deal on eBay. does have a little bit of damage, but as you can see, it's a PS3. Like I said, I was going to get one. So I can finally play uh, these games over here. The Okami HD Remaster, the import, which is in has English subtitles. Which I you can play, for people who didn't already know, who didn't watch my other video, you can play uh, import 
uh, PS3 games on an American PS3. There's no region locking for PS3 games. I just I guess there's just region locking for PS2 games and uh, maybe just Blu-ray movies. That's what I've heard. And we got Journey over here, the Journey collection. Now there was a little bit of damage. I said there was some corner damage. A little bit of damage right there, some right there. Maybe some scratching over here. But they said it was fully tested. They put it through the works. They played games, played Blu-rays. They, they checked the connectivity of it. They did all that stuff. And I, I, I don't really like getting such a beat, beat up used console over here. But I got a really great deal. He had it for like uh, 130 or best offer. I normally don't like lowballing people, but I gave him a best offer of $100, and he accepted it. It was an automatic accept. He had it set up to automatically accept. So I got it for 100 bucks plus uh, maybe like, uh, we'll say $13 in shipping or something like that. That's uh, still, it's good considering what these things go for these days still on eBay. You can still... These things still go for like 150 to 200 bucks. They're not cheap. You would think these things have, would have dropped a little bit farther in price since the PS2's out now. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. We got our controller. We got we got our power cord. We got our I guess this would be our controller charger. And we have our HDMI cord. So I should be all set. Just have to plug it in and go. <coughs> my only debate at the moment is just a debate on myself. Do I want to just play this offline or do I want to stream it on Twitch? You know, if I stream it, if I play it offline, I can play it in HDMI. If I play it on Twitch, I can only play it in component. And I don't know if I'll get the full experience. You know, the remastered graphics, the beautiful picture. Even though I can't really play in 1080p, even on my, even if I did HDMI, my my TV doesn't support it. It only supports 720. But I'm sure it'll still look beautiful even in 720. So, even though I want to stream this, I really, really want to stream this. I, th I think it would defeat the purpose of playing it in HD. Probably would be no better than playing the PS2 version that I've already streamed. So, I'll debate on that. So, uh, I guess that's everything here. So, uh, that's the end of this video. So, thanks for watching.